So now I'm going to show you um, how to copy a 504, or if this wasn't the first 504 plan, how to copy a child's 504 from year to year. So it's kind of an annual 504. Um, if you know that most of the information entered in the past is going to stay pretty similar or just be adjusted, instead of creating a new plan for that year, you can also copy. Um, just make sure if you're copying, you're changing things that you feel are appropriate and not leaving everything exactly as is. Um, so we're going to copy. And the new plan date, um, let's look, let's make sure we know. So this one is going to end on 830. Um, so my next one is going to start on 831. So I'm going to copy. And I'm going to say that it's going to start on 831 of 2018. And it's going to end on 8.30 of 2019. And I'm going to copy everything. If you know that you're completely rewriting a certain section and you don't want it to copy over, you can uncheck that. Um, sometimes it might be nice to copy everything over so you can reread what was written there and then you can also still delete it. So I'm going to copy everything over. So it's created. And if you look, the date came over. If we scroll over, everything came over from our last plan. All of it did. So now you can come in and you can read and you can make the adjustments that you want to make. So I can add something to something. I could delete this and I could completely rewrite it and then hit submit. The one page that we really want to make sure, or a few pages that we really want to make sure that you pay attention to, um, the date that the 504 consent was given for the eval, that would stay the same. That was the initial consent. But the date that they were provided with the prior or with um, their rights, this should change. I should have given them again these rights this year. Um, so I'm going to want to make sure to adjust that to this year if it said last year's date on there, and then submit and move to the next page. Again, you can add, delete, um, just adjust a little bit, and move through the pages. Make sure that it is how you want it. And then on the last page, this is where, again, we really want you to make sure. Now, I was the, the 504 plan manager on this student last year, but maybe um, someone else at their previous school was if they just transitioned to middle school from elementary or transitioned to high school from middle. So you maybe need to change this. So make sure to edit that. And then again, we're just going to come down and we're going to check completeness. Everything looks good. We're going to make it pending. And then remember right away, you can put that um, with this one. It's not going to start until the 31st, so I can't put that into final until the 31st. Um, so I'm going to, you know, if it were this way, I'm basically saying I'm sending it home to them on the 31st. And then that's when it's going to go into final mode. So you can come back and turn that into final just like we showed when we wrote the first one.